Let's get started with all the new equipment we're adding with Update 115. First, let's talk about the Caldwell Pax True Shot, a long-barreled variant of the trusted Pax revolver. It trades some of its fire rate for additional punch and accuracy. We're also adding high-velocity custom ammo for the entire Pax family at the same time to increase versatility. Next, let's get close and personal. Introducing the Katana. A powerful new bladed melee weapon. Its light attack matches the heavy attack of the machete, while its heavy attack matches that of the calorie saver. It is the first weapon supported by our new trait, Martialis, which enables a very stylish and unique first strike attack from the sheath that does increase damage with a wide arc. We are happy to announce that we are also adding the legendary version of the katana for all owners of the Shrine Maiden Cell DLC within a short time after Update 115 goes live. There are more weapons coming with Update 115, so let's move on and have a look. The Dodge 96 family sees custom ammo in the form of the FMJ and Dum Dum rounds for the first time and is complemented by two additional variants, the Dodge Deadeye and the Dodge Claw. The drilling rifle has been a great success in the community and with its new hand cannon and hatchet medium slot variants, hunters are able to incorporate the flexible drilling into even more loadouts. Lastly, we are adding the Lamotte Mark II Carbine Marksman, a scoped version of the revolver carbine which combines close range firepower with position over distance. We have taken this opportunity and looked closer at the entire Lamad family. The short underbarrel shotgun has been upgraded to be similar to a single shot from a rival hand cannon and regular ammunition now has an increased muzzle velocity, which will help the carbine variance at distance. We are also adding even more custom ammo types to some of the existing weapons, so make sure to check out the patch notes for the full details. All of these new weapons will be first available during the Tide of Desolation event before they roll into the regular unlock progression as usual once the event has finished next year. In the last update, we introduced Shadow as a rare burn trait that can only be found in the world. We are now bringing back two more burn traits in the same way, Relentless and Death Cheat. Relentless prevents you from losing a health bar when down the next time, while Death Cheat will save your hunter once when returning to the lobby after being killed. Both burn traits are one-offs and destroy themselves after use. With update 115, we are rolling out a second batch of our fantastic weapon inspect animations. This is our biggest batch so far, as all rifles and shotguns, including all the legendary variants, can now be inspected in detail when equipped. We hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Next, let's talk about Ash Bloom, our exciting new dynamic time of day that is introduced as a wildcard condition. Light mist will rapidly transition to a heavy, impenetrable fog when ash drifts up. Something strange is in the air as animals get very agitated and dogs continue to bark endlessly during heavy fog. This corruption appears to be spreading through the bayou, sickening some of the trees and crops even when Ash Bloom doesn't show its hand. From update 115 on, we are introducing an updated bloodline progression, making it more exciting and faster to unlock new equipment and traits and earning a fair bit of extra hunter loss along the way. The biggest change is that all base weapons are now available from rank 1 at the start of the game. Variants and custom ammo is still unlocked by using any weapon of the same family, killing monsters, targets and other hunters with them. Tools, consumables and traits are now all unlocked by ranking up your bloodline, each occupying a specific rank you have to reach to gain access to them. We have also taken this opportunity to streamline some of the existing traits in the game. We have combined some of them into single traits to increase the chance to find a trait matching your gear and playstyle. Hunter recruits are now presented as more meaningful, ready-to-play packages that even come at a discount. You will find their traits and gear matching wonderfully now, each also coming with a melee tool and first aid kit guaranteed. Even better, recruiting them saves you a juicy 25% of the cost of their equipment over individual purchases. Legendary hunters have also been made cheaper to recruit and always come with traits of a minimum value or additional free upgrade points to spend at will. Free recruits are now only available if you are sitting below $20,000. However, when below $5,000, additional free recruits become available for a greater variety of free options to get you out of the woods faster. To help with progressing your bloodline faster, workbenches can now be found in many compounds. This is where blueprints and gun oil can be found exclusively now. Gun oil has been reworked to instantly progress to the next matching unlock for the weapon in your hand, and if none are available, grant you one random unlock from the arsenal. Blueprints now always grant you three random unlocks instead. We have done some layout changes to the compounds and removed all of the generators. They have always been in a bit of an odd spot, causing a lot of noise for little gain. Electric lights will remain and are still either set randomly on or off at mission start, but players have to destroy them now manually, if they prefer the darkness. Fusies, flare pistols and star shells can now ignite downed hunters. 
You can now move the camera while vaulting, making it easier to engage targets around corners. Carrying a bounty token now grants a passive instinct effect, showing that enemies are around within 75 meters regardless of any remaining dark side boost seconds. Decoy fuses now detonate a weak explosive that can destroy window shutters and doors for added utility. Elevators are now moving at double their speed, making them safer to operate. The Derringer Penny Shot now has an extra 2 shells capacity. Lightfoot no longer suppresses jump sounds, but still helps with vaulting and ladders, and is now 1 upgrade point cheaper for a total of 5 upgrade points.